Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and we're going to talk about Windows activation for Windows 10. Uh, we haven't talked about it for a while. It's been a long time since we did, and we still have quite a few things that we can actually tell you about how to get Windows 10 activated uh, in some way. So first of all, Windows 10 needs to be activated to have all the functionalities working. What happens if you don't activate it? Well, it's still going to work and you will be able to do the majority of the things you want to do, but you'll have a watermark on the bottom right in your screen that's going to say that Windows is not activated. You'll also have uh, some of the settings won't work and mostly in the personalization tab. So you get a limited experience in changing and making things different in Windows and you'll have to use it as it is. Uh, long gone are the days when an unactivated Windows would stop working. Uh, Microsoft now chose the I will nag you and let you know you're not activated regularly, but I will not uh, stop Windows from working on your PC. Now, that shouldn't happen most of the time because it's so easy to have a Windows 10 activation. The first activation, and first of all, if you want to know if you're activated, simply go to the, the uh, start menu go into the settings. In the settings, you will go into update and security. On the left side, you'll have activation. Here's going to tell you if you're activated. Now mine says Windows 10 Pro activated with a digital license linked to my Microsoft account. And we're going to explain what that means in a few minutes. First of all, how do you get your Windows activated in the case where there would be no activation? Now, a lot of people are surprised to see that they install Windows 10 on a machine and it just is activated and works. And they think that it's, you know, simply um, free or something. It is technically if you have a minimum of details. Now, here it says digital license linked to my Microsoft account. If you have a Microsoft account and if you have a machine, a Windows computer that actually already had a version of Windows, it's possible that Windows 10 will already see that there's a version of Windows. And whether it was Windows 7 or Windows 8, that key is valid for free ride to Windows 10. And it still works today. As of June 2022, you can still have a free Windows 10 activation using an old product key for Windows 7, Windows 10. It'll still work. And if you upgrade from Windows 10, from Windows 7 to Windows 8, you'll be able to upgrade. It works. It's not something that um, stopped working. They kind of kept the loophole working. So a valid product key will work, even with an older Windows. Now, if you do have activation problems, do look around. Do you have a computer lying around that has a Windows 7 product key on its you know, exterior? The uh, uh, under the laptop or on the maybe a desktop in the back, often there are stickers with the product key on it. Um, or maybe you have lying around a Windows 7 disk with product key. That is possible. Well, try that and enter the product key to see if it activates. Um, there's a good chance that it will activate um, with those product keys. The uh, way to have it um, updated, of course, you can still, like I said, use old keys. And there's this thing called a digital license. That is something that's linked to your machine. So when you install Windows 10, one of the questions I still get today is, where do I see my product key so that I can you know, enter it if I need to reinstall? You technically don't need it because with a Microsoft account, when you install that product key and the hardware is linked together. So there's serial numbers of some of the parts of the computer sent along with the activation information. That means when you reinstall Windows, it will actually log on to the activation and it will see that, oh, that computer's already been activated with Windows 10. So there's no problem. It's just going to activate automatically. This is what the digital license they talk about are, is all about. If you have a Windows 8 machine that you want to update, a lot of Windows 8 computers actually had the product key embedded within the hardware, which meant that if you reinstall Windows, you might actually see that Windows 10 
is activated automatically and you haven't done anything about it. And this is the case of a lot of people wondering how come Windows 10 activated. Well, that's because there possibly is a product key already embedded in the hardware. Windows 10 did see it. And so it knows that it has a free ride to Windows 10 if it was a Windows 8 key. So there's all of these different ways. And of course, last but not least, if you choose to go on the side of I'm not activating, your Windows 10 is still going to work and you'll have the updates and everything. You're just going to be limited in the settings app as to where and what you can do uh, with the Windows operating system. Also note that having and using a Windows 10 that is not activated is illegal with, uh, of course, the uh, terms of services of Microsoft. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.